and then we'll see if the car sees it. Yes, there we go. So the car's shown it there. It's like a it's like a standoff right here. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be testing the new Tesla full self-drive autopilot visualization test here in the UK. So apparently they've added a couple of things. Number one, they've added doors. So, you know, Meta can't figure out legs. Tesla has now figured out doors and it should show you any open door and then it should show you any open door that's in your path, uh, which is quite interesting. Has it shown anything for blue lights yet? No, it'd be really cool if it did, to be honest. Is it also going to go around this car or are we gonna be sat here in an abyss? Oh, it's trying to figure it out. Yeah, look at that. It only came to almost a complete stop and then figured it out, but it, it was able to do it. So we're gonna head over to Asda and what I'm hoping for is some car doors to be open and then some car doors to be open in our line of sight or as we're driving to them. For example, if some of these cars here, if their doors opened, I'm assuming that's when the car will warn us and the door should apparently flash orange, which is quite interesting. Another thing has changed. So now the car looks out at the cars that it's seeing. So for example, these trucks, this car here, and when it visualizes them, it should visualize them at the correct size. So rather than being a, a one size fits all for this kind of thing, it then should specifically in the visualization show the cars, which uh, will show the cars in the correct size, which should make it, I guess, more pleasing to look at. I don't know if there's actual any actual benefit for the car for that, but I guess we're gonna find out. It's an early Sunday morning, the sun is down low, and okay, Asda is very quiet. I was expecting this to be the place where car doors were going to be opened. It's so early that Asda's not even open yet. Let's try this car park over here and see if there's any difference. Uh, oh, there is, there's some cars here. Let's, let's ask one of these guys. Hey, lads. I've got a really strange favor to ask. All right, that was perfect timing. Okay, so, so we've got loads of cars here in front of us and what we're going to what we're going to pretend is this car here we're just going to drive around it and as we go around it he should open his door and then we'll see if the car sees it yes there we go so the car's shown it there it hasn't shown it as a warning so what happens if i get closer so it doesn't pick it up as a warning but what it does show is that we can't fit through that gap which is good so it actually it actually does fully fully work for it let's try that again so if i if I'm driving this way, like this. Okay, so it hasn't warned us, but it does show the door opening. So that actually does work. That's impressive. Let's see if it'll do it. Watch this, watch this. So it'll try. Stop it. <laughs> no, see. No. <laughs> it's, it doesn't like that there's people, basically. <laughs> it's, it's incredibly cautious about people. Yeah, no, I want it to go back twice, really. Move out the way of running, he's going to drive the car without people not in there, he's picking you up. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a whirl, let's see. Oh, he wants to go backwards. Oh, he wants, he wants to go around you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As it says, waiting for path to clear. Oh, okay. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> But it's limited to about 20 metres in the yeah. UK, so it's not really... No way, no. This is why people get done going to sleep in their car. Yeah, yeah, it literally is. So the problem at the moment is I have to walk it like a dog, rather than it going off and doing its own its own thing. There's nobody in it. And there you go. So as he goes, it says, oh. waiting for pedestrian on my phone, so it can, it can see you in front. And then, and then as you play it, it starts going again. So the idea is, and I just said, so in the sticks, well, so we can get Cheers, mate, Tara. Well, that worked out a bloody treat. So it does show the car door opening in front of us, but it didn't show it like warning. There was no warning about it. I was kind of surprised by that because we were clearly driving at it. Even though we were driving at it at a slow speed, I expected it to uh, to flash and to warn us. But hey ho, let's uh, let's go see if we can drive through the the center of the city. And maybe we'll be lucky enough for someone to open their door uh, in front of us while we drive through the city center. Okay, here we go. So the car in front of us is obviously a lot smaller than the car to the left. 
Would you say there's a big difference in that visualization? I honestly can't quite see the difference. Um, is there a difference between that one and this one? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say there's any difference between any of these. Oh, maybe this one here on the left looks a little bit bigger. Yeah, maybe actually just a little bit bigger. It's got like a, a bit of the top, a bit, a little bit higher. I'm just gonna try and scoot around. So you can clearly see the van behind us here. And then we've got, yeah, so it says the car next to us is an SUV. It's, it's like an MPV, I guess. You've got the van there, but the saloons and especially that Alpha, for example, in front, the Alpha and the Ford, they look exactly the same size to me. I wouldn't say there's any difference between those two. Does this car here look any different? I wouldn't say so. It still looks like a saloon. It doesn't look like a hatchback. We've got this Audi here. The Audi as well. Yeah, they all they all look the same kind of size. This one's probably the smallest car. It hasn't picked up this little Suzuki as an SUV. It's still saying it's a small car. It's definitely not... It's not taller than the Ford, but in real life it is taller than the Ford. Got someone here getting out their car on the left. Is it going to pick that door open even if I go past it? Oh, they've opened their car door. Is it going to show it? It does! Look at that! Did you see that for a split second? So even though we went past the car, the other cameras have picked it up and the other cameras there have shown that her car door was open. Doing this on a Sunday morning was probably a bad idea because they're... Oh, here we go! Here we go! Okay, they're coming out their car. They're coming out their car. Okay, Tesla, please. Do you show... I saw the car door open there. There we go. It's opening. Is the car going to pick it up? Is it going to show it? No, it's not showing it. It's showing... It's it, it's definitely like showing you the car, but it, it didn't show him coming out of the car. There's there's the person that's come out of the car, um, but sadly, it didn't show the door. It's showing him walking around to us. But yeah, no, it, di it didn't show him opening the door. It just kind of glitched between... Well, it didn't glitch, but it just showed several different cars there. Does the Tesla see rear doors? That is the question. Uh, it's not showing anything from that van on the right. And this van here, is it going to show the doors on the back of this van open? Giving it loads of time to think about it. No, it's not. Okay, so definitely the back doors, which is surprising because back doors can still obviously be dangerous. If there's a back door swung open and the car is like, you know, uh, parallel to you it could still come into your uh, into your vision into your into your path okay let's try it here at the car park then and see if there's a door open over there on the left oh i didn't pick it up and she's just sat there with a the door open i should have um i should have gone around there to be honest we're gonna see if it shows the size difference of some cars here then right here we go so we've got a real different size of car we've got a long bmw next to this small toyota and i'm going to try and park in between the two. I think this is this parking space. Let's see. So here on the visualization, you can see that it's it's actually not showing us anything. Uh, it's just going going into the space, which is a little bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping that that there would have shown us uh, all of the, the cars around us. Instead, it's just giving us literally the gap that we can fit into. Let's just let it do its thing. I'm quite, I, I do like Auto Park. It does do it 90% of the time very, very well. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. It is slow, don't get me wrong, it is slow. Okay, so we've parked in between two cars that have clearly a massive difference in length. And this should show on the visualization now. Uh, so if I put my foot on the brake and go into drive, let's have a look. So it's picked up the car next to us, but it's, it's not... It's not picked up the car on the other side. I'm going to go back a little bit more. Yeah, look, so it's not picked up the other car on the other side at all, or at least it's not showing it to us. Uh, if I go out a little bit, is it going to change then? No, it's not changing it then. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That was a perfect, that was a perfect show of two different lengths, uh, sizes of cars. Uh, but obviously, like I said there, it just sometimes it shows things, sometimes it doesn't. It parked very well, though. I guess that's a, that's a positive. Okay, we've got a car door open in front of us. Look at that. So it showed that it was a SUV, but it didn't show his door open. It probably didn't have enough time, or maybe because it was facing, uh, it was like facing the door. It just didn't bother. 
We're gonna try it here at the uh, car garages and we've got bookers over there as well. So hopefully in these car garages, sometimes they have cars with like the doors wide open and stuff just so that you can see them uh, and like you can have a look in them and stuff like that. And that's what I'm hoping for, but uh, it's Sunday morning. So yeah, everything is uh, everything is kind of shut. Oh, here we go, perfect, door open. It didn't show the car, it didn't show the door open, and, it, well, I mean, it didn't warn us about anything there. That was the perfect example. He genuinely opened the door in the way we were going to go. Um, and yeah, nothing nothing came of it. So that's, that was a little bit upsetting, I've got to say. As those results were kind of inconclusive and we weren't able to get a real life scenario where a door would swing out in front of us and the car would actually see it, act upon it, warn us. I've come back and we've got this old thing here. It is sadly only a three door, so I can't test if the back doors opening as well uh, will make a difference. We'll go through and do that another time. I'm just gonna drive very slowly at it. Excuse me, dog, thank you, out the way. So the camera still hasn't picked it up yet, or at least it hasn't shown that it can see the car. And there we go. Okay, so it's showing the car with the door open. And do you see what I mean? There's no, there's no like real big warning that we could crash into it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Is it gonna do anything? There's no warning. There, there's literally no warning about it at all. It just lets me drive straight at it. It's like a, it's like a standoff right here. I'm gonna drive up to it now. And then as I get to it, she is going to swing the door open and we're gonna see if that makes the difference. No, the car on here didn't even show it. Is it gonna show, it shows the car. It hasn't shown the car door. See, it's strange. It doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to want to warn me at all that the car door's open. And now it's even showing the door shut again. I've got to say, this is pretty inconclusive. It's not anything that's big, like they kind of made it seem. The visualization difference as well. I, it's just it's not quite there there just give us everything allow us to see everything that would be absolutely great thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed the video let me know anything else you want me to check out with the tesla until next time drive safe